if I had to do my career again, I would say, what does my bosses need without being a chaplus? You know, I'm not advocating that. Can I help him advance his goals so that I'm a better subordinate? So I walked around the bookshops and I found no book. Every book was telling you how to be a leader, how to reach the corner office, how to be in the C-suite. You must have blue eyes, square jaws, bark orders at people, thump the table and you'll get there. The trouble is, if you do that when you're 30, you'll be fired before you have a chance at the corner office. And so nobody is telling you how to be a good subordinate. And that's how the idea came to my mind. And I captured it by saying that there are four things that you need to learn. Like in marketing, they say, I don't know if you still teach four Ps. Do you still teach that? Yes. yes. So here are my four A's. <laughs> and I can guarantee you, in 10 years, you'll forget the four Ps, but you will remember my four A's. The first A is accomplishment. You have to learn to deliver. You have to give results. In Bengali, they have an expression called Fakibaji, you know, which means if anybody understands Bengali here, obviously one or two do. Uh, well, those who understand, explain to those who don't. Uh, okay? You, a bit of a gas bag. There are lots of them trained in, uh, you know, India, how many B schools we have? 4,796 B schools. North Point is only one of them. Our annual output of people like you, if you're afraid of, if you want to know the market size, is over 120,000. And you're only 26 out of them. This is a huge output. It's like a municipal pipe which is gushing forth <laughs> with bacteria, with sand, everything in it. But you have to be a person who's delivering. So accomplishment is the first one. The second one is affability. Affability doesn't mean being a lovely teddy bear and being nice to everybody. Affability means how can I keep relationships and yet drive a course forward. It's not easy. Sometimes you have to say no. And sometimes you can say yes. Sometimes you have to say yes, but. But if you're completely affable, you might as well be the Prime Minister of India. <laughs> it is a very important part of the skills of a manager to learn how to be affable, which means being accomplishing and yet keeping relationships. The third is advocacy. Every person is a salesman. Those who are not salesmen are doomed to die. A coolie has to sell his service in the morning at 6 o'clock when the Pandarpur Express arrives at BT. Your domestic has to sell his service to you. And you have to sell your service, advertising, marketing, products. Everybody is a salesman. And this whole aspect of accepting that you have a boss. The moment you're a salesman, you have a boss because he's your customer. When you become a very senior person, the secretary to government, some BJP, MLA, they become your bosses. People say that I became an entrepreneur because I didn't want a boss. That's the biggest load of rubbish. They just change their boss. The excise fellow, the sales tax fellow, every fellow thinks he's your boss. So you have to learn how to be advocacy and yet hold up to whatever values and principles that you stand for. The last point, last A is authenticity. You have to be who you are. You can never forget who you are. And when you try to become somebody else, then you can have a very torrential life, like a very famous film star who died recently. You have to learn to be yourself despite success, despite failure. I always say to myself, I have this habit of carrying a comb and a toothbrush in my pocket. One day I was in Harvard Business School doing some program and I was brushing my teeth after lunch. And my American classmate said, Gee, your mom will sure be proud of you. She's seeing you brushing your teeth after lunch. So I said, you know, I used to be a toothpaste brand manager. And <laughs> very early in my life I learned that particles get stuck in your mouth and you must brush your teeth. He said, thank God you didn't join a condom company. <laughs> I've never forgotten, I'm a toothpaste salesman. I'm not unhappy to be a Dalda salesman. And I'll try to keep selling whatever I can. So those are the four A's I'd like to leave with you.